Understand my money. But she's dead. Your sister, she's dead. What I don't give her? a damn. Sweet talk, you know. And there she gave it to him. Well, he was a sick, sick man. You know, they say he was on dope. <laughs> anyway, after he got most of the money, uh, he left her, went down to L.A., looked for a place for them to live, she said. Poor thing. Took them sleeping pills. Lay down right there in her room and died. A broken heart, she died. Let us see her room. Hey, I had her rented. You did what? Well, you know, after the police came, I packed up her things and everything. I got them locked out there in the garage. They're all right. Well, I, I want to see him. I, I want to see everything. Papers, everything. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Sure. You know, your sister, she was some swell person. Used to talk about you all the time, about when you and her were going to be together. Oh, she really had heart. Look, there's all the stuff right down there. Just go ahead and take a look. You know, that loneliness makes people do strange things. All of this? Yeah, that's all my stuff. Now, that Mr. Nestor, he said he was gonna marry her. Hey, I think in there you'll find the letters. Yeah, yeah, in that box there, there's a lot of letters. There's even one from Mr. Nestor. You know, if you look at him, you'd never know he was a dope fiend. I guess that's where some of your money went, huh? Who's this here? Is that Mr. Nestor? Yeah. Yeah, that's Mr. Nestor. Said he was gonna marry her. Uh, where does he live? Do, do you know? I don't know. Oh, well, why don't you check some of the addresses on those letters? There's some letters there from him. Discuss my sister, Mr. Mister and me. 
You know that Mr. Nesta went to church every Sunday. Well, like I say, you can always trust people to go to church on Sunday. going to and from Frisco, and every one of the trucks. Boy, did we used to be busy. Whew. Makes me tired just thinking about it. I guess I better let you eat your breakfast. I mean, I guess I had better let you eat your breakfast in peace. I'm trying to get rid of the southern accent.
Which is that? That'd be 83 cents. Change. Thank you. Y'all yeah, come back, you hear? Okay, brown cow. You can eat my toast. You eat my toast. You can eat my toast. You stupid kid. Eating dirt like that. What's the matter with you? Do folks teach you no better? You really are simple. But, Mister, I was hungry. When you're hungry, you'll eat most anything. No matter what your daddy taught you. Well, if he didn't teach you not to eat garbage, he's simpler than you are. If he's a hungry girl, you go home and eat. I would, but I haven't got a home. Uh-huh. Really, I've been living in daddy's old car, sleeping in everything. Till some boys stole the seats. Now I'm sleeping in a cave. Yeah, and I'm the president of the United States. No, you're not. Hey, look, little girl. Will you leave me alone? Go clean out your cave. Go do something. Where are you going? Can I come along, huh? Can I? I won't be no bother. You know, I'm really hungry. I was eating real good until they changed the cook at the diner the other day. So what I've been doing... Will you stop bothering me? You see, I can't even get a ride because you're with me. Go home. Your mama wants you. I haven't got a mama. Oh. I tell you, you're really something. You live in a cave, you ain't been eating, and now you ain't got a mama. But it's true. I'll prove it to you. No, you won't. We're getting you to where my cave is now. Yeah. And the treasure, too, right? How'd you know about the treasure? Oh, well, there's always a treasure. <laughs> well, Pop told me to sit tight till he came back, see? Well, that's been a week now, and I haven't even touched it for $55. What's $55? The treasure, you know. Oh, yeah. There's a cave and a uh, car and a treasure and, oh, boy, I'll tell you. Well, if you don't believe me, then I won't show you, even if you ask. But it's right over there. So is China. I'm not a liar like some people I know, Mr. President. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll come and look at your treasure. But if I do, will you promise to leave me alone? Cross my heart. Yeah? Okay, lead the way, Simp. Simp? What's a simp? Simp. That's short for simple-minded. That's what you are, simple-minded. Lead the way, Simp. They sure picked it clean. Mm -hmm. Who'd you say your old man was? Fisher. Somewhere on the beach here, huh? No, near Santa Barbara. See, this lady, Daddy called her my Aunt Molly. She and Daddy went together. Uh, your Aunt Molly, um, was she blonde and kind of uh, chubby? Yeah. Do you know her? No, it's... Uh, it's just that everybody has an Aunt Molly. What does that mean? Nothing. Mom always said, find a barn, you'll find your pop. <laughs> Where's the treasure? Come on, I'll show you the cave. You don't want to show me the treasure, right? Sure, but I'll show you the cave first. Come on. Well, come on.
Want to see my things? You didn't believe me that I live in a cave. No, I sure didn't. Very nice cave you got here. Very cozy. Clean. Where's the treasure? Dad called it my mad money. Don't let anybody know where it's hid, he said. Boy, you really hand me a laugh, you know that? Yeah, that's right. They dragged me down a whole mountain to show me some screwball cave, and the one thing I want to see with all my heart and soul, which is your treasure, you won't show me. I'm sorry I came. I'm sorry I gave you my toast. Not in the trunk of a car. You want to know something? I don't want to see your treasure. I'm not even interested in it anymore. No, forget it. Forget it. Here's a buck. Now, you go on over to that diner and get us something to eat. See, uh, get us, uh, get us some cookies and some ice cream, okay? You won't leave, will you? Are you kidding? Look, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna finish this cigarette, and I'll wait for you. Now, go get us some ice cream, all right? All right.
Come on. I don't want it. Who needs it, you little pirate? Even your treasure. Stop that singing. I'm not singing, I'm humming. Well, whatever you're doing, stop it. Where are we going? I don't know where you're going. I'm going to Venice. That's where I'm going. What are we going to do there when we get there? Hey, hold everything. Now, let's get something straight, OK? It's I, not we, I. And it's me, M-E, me, not us, me. Now, me is going to L.A. To Venice, California, to be exact. Not us. You got that clear? Well, when me gets there, what is me gonna do? Me is gonna take care of somebody who stole my money. Here, you can have it. I really don't need it. I'll get along. Now you can take a bus to Venice, California, instead of maybe walking all the way. Here, take it. If you don't like the bus, you can take a train or an airplane. Well, you can have it if you want it. What does it mean when you say, take care of somebody? You lean on them. Lean on them? That sounds silly. Six thousand bucks ain't silly. What six thousand bucks? My six thousand dollars. Bucks. Where'd you get it? I worked for it. Got the hell beat out of me for three years. Lousy tank towns. Fight arenas that should have been turned into pigsties. You a boxer? Like on TV? <laughs> if I'd been on TV, I wouldn't be walking down this road talking to you, I'm telling you. I was a fighter. I'm retired now. I'll go get my money, what's left of it. And I'm gonna live the life of a politician in Mexico. Did you have a lot of fights? Too many, Simp. Too many. Did you ever get hurt? Nobody ever touched me. I saw boxing on TV once. I didn't like it, standing there and hitting each other. It hurt me. I turned it off. <laughs> it hurt you. You should have been the other guy. What? Oh, for God. before you retire? The best. Were you a champ? <laughs> of course. What do you think I am, a bum? No, no. Hey, box for me. What? Box for me. You know, show me what you do when you, when you fight. You kidding? No. Well, you really are simple. It takes two people to box, and a rep, and a ring, and a crowd of paying customers. Well, Daddy would dance for me sometimes by himself, and he was only one. You could just... Kind of give me an idea, please. Well, you see, we do a kind of shadow boxing. That means you box with yourself. And then we hit the big bag, and then we hit the small bag, and then we skip rope, and uh, that's about it. You understand? No. Oh. All right, I'll show you. See, you just kind of shadow box. You just, you know, with yourself. See, you know, left's like that, a little right like that, see? And then you skip a little rope like this. Good for the legs. What are you laughing at? It's only girls skip rope. I skip rope, and I ain't no girl. You creep! Can't you see we're tired, you creep? Hot, ain't it? You know, this kind of road work can kill you. You hungry? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, me too. There's gotta be a place to eat around here. When we get to one, what do you want to eat? Ice cream, if you don't mind. Oh, you're very funny. You really are very funny. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now, let's get something straight. Well, I mean, just because I'm going to spring for the chow, that don't mean we're forming a partnership, you understand? After we're through eating, you're going north, I'm going south, all right? Okay. Oh. some ice cream, but after you eat something to put a little meat on your bones, all right? You're too skinny. Hi, what'll it be? All right. We'll have um, two cheeseburgers, two cups of coffee, and some ice cream for the kid after the cheeseburgers. Right. And what'll a little lady have to drink? Milk, honey. Like milk? Yes, but I'd rather have a Coke. I'll have milk. three hours, I'll show you how funny I really can be. It'll take you that long? Let me see your hands. You understand the King's English? Yes, but... Well, let me see your hands. Flip them over. They're dirty, go wash them. Go wash them. All right. Don't let my hamburger get cold. Where's your little lady friend going? What little lady friend? Your little daughter. Daughter? What daughter? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you're funny. Really, you're, you're very funny. Hey, uh, what time you hop out of this place? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we're not allowed to divulge that information. No, wait, no, wait a minute. Let me put it to you this way. Um, what time you come to work? Oh, you know, union rules, 10 to 7. Anything else is overtime. Besides, you've got a date. That's fine, kid. Sit down and eat. I like you, so I ain't got nothing against you. But your old man must be missing you by now, so you better go, huh? Hey, east is east and west is west. Go home. But what about my ice cream? I asked her. She ain't got no ice cream. Now, will you beat it? Take off.
Got a convertible out back. Fifteen minutes. Hey, that was a long 15 minutes. What's your name? Nancy Kenton. That's a nice name. What's yours? Oh, uh, it's Nick. Nick, mm -hmm. just, just uh, Nick. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, you're some hot tomato, baby. Nice knowing you. You'll never know. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I knew you'd change your mind, you big tease. Forgot my bag. Go to hell, you bastard! Trying to get us both killed? What's the matter with you? You got less sense than I don't know what. Why the hell don't you leave me alone, huh? Leave me alone. I'm not your old man. I'm not supposed to look after you. Me. I'm supposed to look after me. Damn it. Well, if you're coming with me, come on! Well, let's go! All right. 
Okay, what's the matter? Nothing. Don't give me that nothing. What's the matter? What do you want me to do, carry you? Huh? I might as well. You're on my back anyway. Come on, sit down, will you? Just sit. Yeah, you're right, it's only a scratch. I got something in here to fix that right up. See this thing I got over my eye? When I got that, a gallon of blood came out. Yeah, a whole gallon. I didn't cry, not one tear. Yeah, there's something there. Right, here we go. A little of this on there, and... Okay, how's that feel? It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Much better. Good. Pull your pad leg down. A whole gallon. Well, maybe, uh, maybe half a gallon. All right? Come on. Come here. The way you're limping is for sure we're not going to make L.A. tonight, so, uh, let's go over there and see if we can find a place to sleep. Come on. to camping out, I'll tell you. Put it on, huh, will you? Think it's a little big, Nick? It's beautiful, beautiful. As long as I'm going to spend the night with you, I, I think I ought to know your name. Felicity. Felicity Raxter. Felicity. What do they call you for short? Felicity. <laughs> Good night, Simp. Good night, Nick. to get some breakfast first. Uh, is there any place around here? Yes, uh, oh, on a couple of miles up ahead. Could you drop us off there, please? Well, I'm going on to Santa Barbara, make a short stop, and then on to L.A. Hey, that's great. Have you had your breakfast yet? Yes, but uh, I could stand a cup of coffee. <laughs> is this your daughter? Yeah. Pretty little thing. What are you going to do in L.A.? Oh, get a job, something. I don't know. That's a nice town. You ever been there before? Yeah, a couple times. I live in Hollywood. 
have a lovely apartment overlooking the entire city. What kind of work do you do? I'm a fighter. A fighter? Oh, that must be very exciting. Yes. Yes, you uh, look like a fighter. A real fighter. Is that the place you were talking about up there? Yes. All the truck drivers stop there. The food's very good. Uh, well, you just stop there, too, will you, and drop us off, please? But I'm going on to L.A. Don't you want a shore lift? Well, you see, we changed our mind. We're going to walk for a little while. Now, you stop there and let us off. All right, sweetie baby? All right. Have it your way. Man. Yeah, I got a $3 bill. Funny way to brush your teeth. I just love the beach. Live here all my life if I could. Yeah, it's great in the summer. It's lousy in the winter, though. It's too cold. It's even beautiful in the winter time. I love to watch the fog roll in at night, after the sun goes down. We used to live on a hill, and I could see the ocean all day and hear it all night. I'd sit up on a rock and just stare at the water till my eyes hurt. What was this? Oh, before. Before what? Before Mom died. Before Daddy started drinking. Before we moved away. Just about before everything. All the time I was living in the car and then the cave, I'd sit up on a rock and just stare out most all day long. You know, you could see everything in the ocean. Things you never saw before. Animals, people, towns. It's really beautiful. And let me tell you something. Right now, under that pretty blue-green water, there's a whole world going on, see? It's just waiting for you and me to step out and get lost. Sharks bite your legs off. Barracuda chew you to bits. See that seagull? Pretty, right? Eating fish. Big fish eat the little fish. And the bigger fish eat them. And then the bigger fish eat them. That's life, kid. I want to see everything, like I see in the ocean. I'm not even going to get married. I'll see the world, sail out on the ocean and see the whole wide world. Yeah? Well, you better learn how to swim, or you're going to drown there or back there. No, God will look after me. Yeah, kids and drunks. When did your old man start drinking? When your mom died? Come on, 
Nick, help me build a sand castle. I don't want to build a sand castle. Come on, Nick. Seagulls are just beautiful. And the sky. What colors? Hey, ain't they something? It's like a lollipop cover. A what? Oh, that's a special secret. All mine. Well, whatever it is, it's just great. It's really great to be laying here. That's great. Hi. Hi? What do you mean, hi? This is a private beach, buddy. Sorry, I didn't know. Well, if you could read, you would have seen the signs. I can read, mister. But I didn't see no sign. Come on, kid. Besides, I don't like anybody mucking up my beach. Slabs like you, especially when I go around hitting little girls. I just don't move. Stay there, you. Just stay there. Just don't move. Here's your world, kid. All sweetness and light, right? Beautiful, huh? No, Nick, no. Just him. Not the castle or the birds or the sea. And your old man? And his Aunt Molly? And the rest of the stupid, stinking world? <laughs> you know, Belton, that creep reminded me of something. Now, I'm going to L.A. Now, you're welcome to come along, see? But I ain't looking out for you. I'm not taking care of you. I don't know what you're going to do, where you're going to go, how you're going to eat. I don't know. Listen, I don't know nothing. Do you want to come with me or you want to go back with the old man or what are you going to do? I'll, I'll go with you to L.A., Nick. I've got an aunt somewhere in, in Culver City. Well, you better have. I'm telling you. Because life's going to be pretty stinking for you in a county home for lost kids. And I don't con me. You ready to go?
Hey, um, I'm kind of thirsty, dry, you know? I'd like to have a beer. You want a, uh, you want a lemonade or a Coke or something? Okay, whatever you say. Well, look, we better, uh, we better find another place, huh? Georgie, your little daughter? Mine? Yeah. Probably some old drunk's brat who wandered out. I don't know how she got in here anyway. Daddy, take me home! Now look. You either stay with me or go live with my sister in Culver City. If you want to live with me, you live with me! Now go on, I'll see you. Take me home! Tomorrow. Not today, tomorrow! Drunken pig. If you want that kid's old man, I'd pound your head up against his body, your eyes pop, and the booze runs out of your stupid head. What are you, mister? A, a, a cop? No, my friend of your daughter's. <laughs> friend of my daughter's. <laughs> you hear that, Rosie? My, my little girl's got a boyfriend. He's a little old, but he's a boyfriend. You, you, you want my daughter? Be a very old. Hey, listen, why don't you sell my Felicity brat to my sister? I never wanted the kid anyway. Now you take care of the kid, she's yours. Go to hell. You hear me? Hey, look, forget about your old man, see? Him and his, uh, <laughs> his friend. I'll tell you, they're a pair. You're better off, believe me. I'll take you to your aunt's in Culver City. Everything's going to be all right, so just forget about it. What's the matter? What are you looking at? Candy store, Nick. What? Candy store. I want to go to a candy store. 
I gotta find a candy store. Oh, yeah, that four bitch you got. It's burning a hole in your pocket, right? You wanna get some ice cream and candies and cookies and, huh? Come on, I'll find a candy store. Don't you want the candy? Hey, don't you want, don't you want this? Oh, Nick, it's so beautiful. It's all so beautiful. Want me to look at just anything? Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's terrific. Everything is yellow. Great. Isn't it just lovely? What's the matter? My arms ache. But I don't want to take it down. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, move. Sit down, I want to talk. You're really better off. You understand? See, when I was a kid, my old man, he left me and my sister. Look at me, I, I ain't doing bad. You know I've been halfway around the world? That's a fact. Yeah, and I've, I've had some good jobs, too. I'm a carpenter, and a good carpenter. Some people think I'm the greatest. I wasn't a great fighter. I was lousy. I keep getting knocked out all the time. Look, kid, when I go to Mexico, I'll, I'll build you a dollhouse. See, with my own hands, I'll build it. And it'll be beautiful. And I'll send it to you, and it'll be worth something. What do you keep staring through that paper for? I mean, I know you're upset about your old man and his Aunt Molly, but what's looking through that paper? The lollipop cover. I know it's a lollipop cover. I had a nice one back at the cave. It was a red one, but I lost it. I like green and blue, but the yellow one's my favorite. What's the kick? What? I mean, you got that thing stuck up over your eyes all the time. I mean, what's the kick? What's the... 
feeling. The... What is it? You look through it. What do you see? I saw the same things you did. I saw a pier and some boats and the water. But I don't sit around looking at it. I mean, it's kind of nutty. Here, try another look. Come on. Look through it. All right, everything's yellow. So what? Just something I can't explain. Maybe one day you'll see it, too. Hey, we can go and buy you one. Then we can go out and look at the ocean. Maybe you'll see what I mean. I see what I see. Over there is a dumpy diner with some garbage cans in the back, a greasy kitchen, and some dumb, fat broad waiting on tables, all right? Out there, we have the sea with slop in it from everybody's toilet, OK? Now we have the road. It's hot, it's dirty, and it's dusty. And looking through this, don't change it one bit. Does for me. We cannot. Will it take me to my aunt's? You bet I am. And I'm going to take care of my business. Will you stop with that lollipop jazz? Up north five days. Oh, yeah? Can't wait to get home with a wife and kids. I had three boys and a baby girl. How many you got? Well, none. Uh, she belongs to a friend of mine. I'm just uh, taking her down to an aunt in L.A. Some friend making a hitch. How far are you coming from? Pretty far. What's your name, honey? My name's Felicity. Oh. My girl's name is Annie, after her mother. Looks just like her, too, thank goodness. Three boys take after me, a little on the husky side. Who do you look like, your mommy or dad? What are you looking at, honey? What's the matter, cat got your tongue? My oldest boy's a quiet one. Hardly ever says a word. When he does, you better sit up and listen, because that boy's smart. I mean, really smart. First in his class. Figures. Mathematics is his sport. Gonna help send a man to the moon. Ah, I can hardly wait to see my kids. You know what I mean, mister? Oh, yeah. Kids. Something about them changing every day. It's a pleasure just sitting and watching them some days. Is this uh, Miss Raxter? Well, do you have a brother, George? Uh, he has a daughter, Felicity. They live up north. 
No, no, nothing's wrong. It's uh, just that I've got Felicity here with me. Oh, well, I picked her up on the road. Hey, look, lady. Um, uh, she's here with me, see, and I can't take care of her, so, uh, I, I, you know, I want to send her over to your place. Hey, lady, she's not my kid. Well, you're her aunt. Because her father's drunk, that's why. He's not even here. Okay, well, how, how do I send her there? Culver City, L.A. bus. To where? Okay. And, uh, look, lady, she's, uh, she's had a bad time, see, from an old man, so keep him away from her, will you? Where's your aunt? Now, look, she told me a bus comes by here every hour, see? I got it all written down. All you got to do is you get on the bus, you tell the bus driver what street you want to get off. When he comes to that street, he'll call it out. You understand? Hey, come on. Everything's going to be all right. Can I stay with you, Nick? No. Hey, look. When I leave this town, I'm going to be bad news. Don't you understand? What do I need with a kid hanging around my neck? I wouldn't hang around your neck, honest. Listen, this is, uh, this is where I gotta leave you, see? Well, I shouldn't have even brought you as far as I did. I mean, I, I could get into real trouble doing that. Look, you'd be better off on your ass, see? And she sounded real happy when she knew you were coming. Would you take that thing from out in front of your face? This does nothing for you. Nothing, see? It just makes everything look yellow, but it don't change a thing! You understand? Now here. Hold on to that. Now you're going to wait for a number one bus. A number one bus, all right? Please, Nick. Look, I'm going my way. You're going yours. But alone. Me, not we. I, not us. Yeah, that's right. Just leave me alone. Don't go. I, I don't want to go to my aunt. Just leave me no, alone. Please, Just leave me alone. Don't. Just leave me alone. Now sit here. Now listen to me. I can't take you. I can't. Don't be like my daddy. I need you. I'm scared. Don't go. Now listen to me. I don't want you. You hear me? I don't want you. Now, you go get a bag full of lollipops, and you go sit up on some hill someplace. And you go look at the birds and the world, and you see how beautiful it is, but you leave me alone. Because I don't want you, and I don't need you. I don't need you. Are you Nestor? 
Who wants to know? My name is Nick. Nick who? Are you the police? When I get through busting you up, you're gonna wish I was the police. Who are you? What do you, what do you want? I don't have anything. I'm Nick Bartoloni. Esther's brother. That's right, Esther's brother. What do you want? Well, first I want my money. Then we're gonna discuss my sister, but first I want my money. I don't have any money. You lie. I swear to God you're almighty, stinking. I don't have a dime. Well, I'm, my I'm not fooling, I don't you're have lying. any money. You're I'm... lying, you're lying! You're lying! How about killing you? I've got a couple of dollars. I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. I'll pay, I'll pay the rest back. Wait. 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 Ten years now. Huh? When? I'll give you what I have. I don't have it all, you know. She's... She's still got some of it. She's dead. She's dead. What's the matter? Didn't you know? Didn't you know? The same way you'd go if I wasn't here to help you. The same way. She was coming here. We were going to... We were going to be married. We were to be married. Yeah, you're going to marry her, sure. And she told me she loved me. Me, a tired old junkie, a nothing. I can't even keep a job for more than six months, but she said she, she really loved me. Nobody ever told me that before, never in my whole life. So I thought maybe I could change, maybe I could kick it. So I told her. I was honest with her. I confessed to her that I was on the stuff. And she tried to help me. One night she even took a shot herself. She got sick as a dog. She, she was scared, I guess. But she said she didn't want to lose me. And we ran out of the stuff, and I, I needed money. So I took hers, yours. It killed her to give it to me. I knew she was saving it for you. She told me that. And when I left, she gave me some more. And I was supposed to come down here and find us a place, a nice, place and then she would come down and we would we would get married I tried I really tried but I couldn't do it so I stopped writing and I spent it all oh but about a hundred dollars I spent it all on junk He said she really loved me. I know what I am, brother. But for a minute there, for a 
little while we, we gave each other something that neither one of us ever had before. Felicity! Got your lollipop cover. Hey, Simp. Let you and me find a rock looking out on some ocean. I'll build you a dollhouse, all right? 